this video, we're going to discuss how to pay bills. So it's the end of the month and it's time for accounts payable to go ahead and cut some checks. So how do you do that? All right, so you have all your bills already entered and now we're going to follow the little column, go down and pay my bills. Right now, uh, it's showing all bills. You do have the option. So if you want to pay only the bills that are due before Friday, you can pay only those bills. Uh, if you want to pay only the bills that are due before next week, you can pay those bills. So you can filter this down. All right, so I'm going to say pay bills before 1225 2016. This is a demo file, of course. So now it shows me only the bills that are due before that date. All right. Then you can filter your bills. You can filter for all vendors or you can choose a particular vendor. If you want to pay only Hopkins, it'll filter it down for me. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and choose all vendors. I can also sort it by vendor, by due date, by discount date, or by amount due. All right, a lot of people ask me if I can have more features to sort it by. They want to sort it by the reference number, for example, and that's not set up in QuickBooks currently. Then what you can do is you can go ahead and check off which bills you want to pay. All right, I'm gonna pay all these bills. It's gonna give you a total down here. Let's say on the middle field drywall bill, we're only gonna pay it half of it up front. Okay, so what you can actually do is over here where it says amount to pay, you can highlight that and change it to be whatever you want it to be. If you wanted it to be 35%, you can multiply it by 0.35. It acts just like it would a calculator. Or you can just say, I want to pay $555 on this bill. What it'll do is it'll calculate for you $555 and keep the amount due in there until uh, the time you pay off the rest of it, okay? Now you can if you say, oh, I don't want to pay all these people right now because I see I don't have $5,000, so I can clear my selections and start again. Uh, also, if you want to look at this bill, so let's say the middle field drywall bill, I can go ahead and go to this bill and see what it's all about. All right, so I can see, oh, I've only, I've only billed for $450 of it, so that's how much I want to pay. So I can say save and close, come right back to the screen and change it to $450. All right, you can set a discount. Now you're gonna set the discount on the bill that you click on, okay? So if I wanted to set a discount on this $91.94, I can go ahead and click set discount. All right, what is the amount of my discount? I'm gonna say $10. What is the discount account in your chart of accounts? So why are you taking this discount basically? And let's say it was because we don't pay freight and delivery to them, but they charged us freight and delivery. All right, and then you can also choose a class. So this, ex this income, essentially what this is going to be is that we are not paying $10 that they charge to us, gets assigned to a certain class, okay? And then if there are any credits on hand that the, the vendor has, if you have any credits to apply to this bill, you could do that there. So I'm going to go ahead and say done here. Notice how it says discount use $10 and that the amount to pay now is $81.94. All right. Now if you highlighted on the vendor and they did have credits, it would populate down here what credits that they have available. None of these vendors have any credits right now. Okay, so moving on down to the next area, you choose what payment date, what date are you actually cutting the checks, and what data are gonna, is going to be printed on the checks. How are you paying these? By check, by credit card, or by online bank payment. I'm going to go ahead and say by check. Now if you print checks from QuickBooks, you're going to go ahead and mark them to be printed. If you write manual checks, you're going to go ahead and you can click to assign your check number here. All right. And then you can choose which checking account this is coming from, or which bank account, excuse me, this is coming from. So it's coming from my checking account. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, pay selected bills. All right, so it pops up 
Do you want to pay some more bills or do you want to go ahead and print checks? So I'm going to go ahead and say print checks. Now it comes up here. Again, you have the option for choosing the right bank account. Um, what is the first check number? 10, 180. So I look at my check numbers. Oh, I'm at 181 actually because I wrote one manual check. And I say, okay, choose the printer that I'm going to print on and go ahead and print it. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out though. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of this as well. The other thing that I wanted to show you real quick is when I go back in here and I'm going to pay a bill, let's go ahead and click this one, and I'm going to assign a check number to it. If I choose assign a check number here and say pay selected bills, it's going to pop up a box and it asks me what check number is this. So I'm going to say it was check number 1120. Okay. It doesn't ask me to print anything out, but it records the payment in my check register that I paid $4,050 on check 1120. All right, and that is how you pay bills.